So just the other day, I noticed that my Centauri Carbon was not able to load any new filament. I was printing a model and I had a roll get to the very end and it didn't detach, causing the tool head to stop pulling in filament. The sensor told the printer to continue printing, which resulted in printing error. I'm sure you've had it happen. I also recently noticed a few people asking about clogging issues, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to walk you through how I was able to unclog my Centauri Carbon. Let's get right to it. The first thing that we need to do is remove the tool head cover and unplug it. Next, let's go ahead and remove the two hex bolts that are securing the hot end in place. Once that is done, disconnect the two power cables. I like to use a little tiny flathead screwdriver to pop them loose. Once you're done with that, we need to remove the outer casing on the tool head. Start by removing the two bolts that are showing in the front of the tool head. After that, there are two hex screws on each side of the tool head. Let's remove those now. Once that is done, you can remove the outer casing of the tool head. This is going to reveal a third hex bolt on the front of the tool head. Go ahead and remove that. The gearbox should now be loose and should be easy to detach from the tool head. This is where I suspect my clog is located. And sure enough, you can see a blob of filament right between the filament gear assembly. Carefully wiggle the large gear back and forth while pulling it up. It should come out revealing the filament clog. Once it's removed, replace the gear back into the assembly and reattach the assembly to the tool head. Now replace the three hex bolts on the front of the tool head. I also had removed these two top screws, but they didn't need to be removed. Next, replace the two screws on each side of the tool head. Now you can either install a new nozzle or just reinstall the old one. Connect the two cables first. Now make sure you install the nozzle with the filament hole on the right hand side. Now replace the two hex bolts. The next thing that I did was replace my old nozzle boot. So this is your opportunity to do so. Reconnect the front cover cable and reinsert the PTFE tube into the top of the tool head. Make sure you give it enough pressure so that it locks in place. Turn your Centauri Carbon back on, load some filament, and run a full calibration. I sure hope that today's tutorial was helpful. Remember, any 3D printer will get a clog eventually. This fix only took about 10 minutes and my machine was back up and printing. There's definitely some other methods for unclogging the tool head, but the only way I was able to fix my machine was to break it down and clear it out. Again, my name is Nick. Have a great day, and as always, Happy printing.